I didn't know I was out that slow, to be honest. I think I was like fourth at the 50 or something like that. Um, but, you know, that's just training. I think I was home in 22.8. Um, I think I was ha half a second faster than schooling in that race. But it's just being patient and not panicking. Luckily, I didn't see the other guys. I thought I was right with them. So good thing I didn't know that until after the race. But like I said, the 75, I saw where I was at. And I saw I was in a good spot. Put my head down and don't breathe. That's how I've swam my 100 fly ever since being coached by Troy. Uh, I don't breathe the last 25, and that's just how I do it. And as soon as I turned it to 75, I saw where the other guys were at, and I, was, I knew I had a chance. So I just put my head down, got my hands on the wall, and I missed the first two turns. They were kind of long. So I know I always say the bad stuff that happened, but like I said, there's always room for improvement. But it's a heck of a race. And Joe Schooling, man, like I said in my interview, he's one of the hardest guys to beat, I think in the sport of swimming. Um, he just has this ambiance about him. He carries his confidence with him where he's got that smirk on his face and you can't beat the kid. I saw in Rio, you watch the replay of him walking out in Rio, he's got a smirk on his face and he beat Michael Phelps. He's just a great guy. He just walks with confidence and I respect that so much. So tonight, it's just the right opportunity, right preparation and having the right race and anyone can be beat.